Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Home Tastic Barizwana. So in today's video, I am going to share with you some amazing and zero cost kitchen decoration and kitchen organization ideas. So let's say for example I have this white color stand which is so beautiful but at the same time it's expensive as well. I got this for around 7 or 800 rupees. Now let's say if you don't want to spend that much money on any rack what you can do is we can make our own stand using any sturdy cardboard box. So here I have taken this shoe box and I'll be cutting it into two pieces. Here I am securing the edges using a masking tape. I am cutting the leftover pieces also so that I can put it inside the box to make it more strong and sturdy. Using a glue gun I will be attaching those pieces inside this box. So this way my box is ready and it's strong enough. And now I'll cover this box with this wooden wallpaper. Using this kind of wallpaper will make it look like a wooden one and also it becomes waterproof as we are going to put this in the kitchen. I'm sorry for the background noises that you're getting because there are guests in my home and I'm trying my best to finish this video and post it for all of you. And this type of wallpapers also won't cost you much it's around 100 or 120 rupees you'll get and if we can make a beautiful stand in just 100 rupees it's really worth it right so we just have to carefully attach this wallpaper on this box and cover it up fully i'm done with outside part now for covering it inside i ran out of the wooden wallpaper so i had similar one in the same color so i'm using that So like this cover the inside part as well and you have to attach two pieces of cardboard like this so that we can put another one on top of it like this. And here is my rack ready so I will be organizing it on my countertop. And don't forget to comment how do you like this one and in this rack you can keep all these spice containers like this. And on top of this rack also you can keep other containers this box is very sturdy let me show you and these containers are not empty these are full containers which are heavy so i'm just keeping it on top of this rack isn't it looking very pretty and also space saving and that too in very less budget somewhere around 100 rupees that too for wallpaper now I got another idea as you are seeing these tea coffee sugar containers these are metal tins which I purchased from Amazon for around 800 or 900 rupees. Actually I wanted these uh, containers for a very long time but because of its price I never bought this but recently maybe 7-8 months back I bought this containers but now I want to show you how we can make these kind of beautiful tea coffee sugar containers by ourselves in a very easy way so for this I am I have taken these milk powder tins actually I got these from my neighbors first we have to clean these tins thoroughly and paint it with white color so that we can apply any other color of our choice here I have chosen pastel colors like sky blue uh, lemon yellow and light pink you can paint it with any color of your choice Here I am using sponge to dab the paint because the strokes of the brush were visible so that's why I am just dabbing it with sponge and for the lid I have chosen black color. After the painting now what I will do is I will just make a label kind of design on this tins. We can also simply attach the black color labels which we get but that is very common and boring so I wanted to make it little different. So that's why I have made a frame like this. Inside this frame I will write tea coffee sugar. And it's as simple as that my tea coffee sugar containers are ready. Now let's style it in our kitchen. Now we can replace our expensive tea coffee sugar containers with our DIY containers. Aren't this looking so pretty and colorful as well? And I forgot to show you, I have uh, applied varnish on all these containers. You can wash these containers under running water and you can scrub it inside the container but not outside.
and moving on i found this cute matkas in my kitchen which we got for kulfi i kept it uh, thinking that i can make something out of it and now i got an amazing idea let me show you that first i have taken this box actually i want to make a long tray and for this i got this box in perfect shape but this not that sturdy so that's why i am securing all the edges with the masking tape and also fabricol now let's cut the top part of this box as we want to make a tray out of it here is my box ready now i want to reduce the height of this box as i want to put my matkas on this tray to make it more sturdy i am attaching one more piece of cardboard on the surface of this tray and as usual i'll cover the inside part of this tray using a wallpaper and i have this grass wallpaper you might have seen in my previous videos and now using fabricol molded clay i'll be making lids for these matkas you just roll the clay and according to the size of that matka you have to cut it in a circle shape using any lid or anything i couldn't show everything but we have made lids like this using the clay and i am painting all the lids with black color and coming back to our tray i have this popsicle sticks available so i am cutting the top part like this and i'll be attaching all these pieces on this tray so that my tray will look like a wooden one and also it will look very beautiful you just have to cover all the sides of this tray like this using sticks tray is almost ready coming back to our matkas i am painting all the four matkas in different colors you can choose any colors of your choice and here are my matkas ready aren't this looking so pretty now let's paint the tray as well with the black color as i have painted lids with black color i want to make it look like a complete set here i am applying varnish on all this and here is my cute set ready in which you can uh, put any spices salt uh, chili powder turmeric and coriander powder mostly we use those things right in our cooking so you can use these matkas for uh, this storing this kind of spices while you are cooking now this set is looking very colorful and pretty in the kitchen and also it's 100% functional at the same time and the best part is we have made it at no cost we just used acrylic paints for this Now coming back to our countertop here you see this space here we need a cooking station right for cooking station obviously you need a tray and if you want to purchase any wooden tray it will cost you more than 4 or 500 rupees now let's make one with a waste box so for this also just take any sturdy box like this you will get these kind of boxes for sweets or any other things this one i got for a toothbrush and there are two ways of covering the box with the sticks here i am attaching the sticks horizontally so you can attach it like this we can cover the joints later once you are done trim all the extras using a scissors and there's another way as i said you can attach the sticks vertically as well but this is going to take extra time i just wanted to show you both the ways whatever you want you can go with that so on one side i have attached it vertically and on the other side i have attached it horizontally and now to enhance its look i have attached small sticks like this uh, so that it will look like a crate this way we can cover up the joints as well and here is my tray ready you can use it like this or you can further uh, enhance its look by painting as well here i have chosen pink color so i am painting this tray with pink and i'll be painting these vertical sticks with white color and that's it my tray is ready i have covered inside part with a marble wallpaper and let's style it in our kitchen 
so in this tray I am keeping my oil dispenser and a salt container and a knife holder knife holder in the sense I just keep all the knives in a ceramic cup which I don't use anymore and we can put any decorative bottle as well like this so you can make tray according to the size uh, whatever stuff you are going to put in that and that's it my simple cooking station is ready these are the simple and easiest ways to decorate your kitchen but in very less budget guys and moving to this corner this is my favorite DIY in today's video and as we don't have tea coffee sugar containers here and the coat on this wall doesn't make any sense so let's remove it and replace it with another beautiful kitchen decor DIY so just carefully remove and this is the double sided tape which I used to attach it you have to pull this tape towards you then it will come off easily and for this I have this old strainer available I want to make something beautiful out of this one and I have cut a cardboard in a semicircle shape to attach it on that strainer Now on this cardboard, I'll again attach this popsicle sticks. This time I faced many difficulties and challenges while making this video. My glue gun was not working properly because of the glue sticks I purchased recently. And I had to use this Fevi-Quick gel but it was very helpful this time. So like this you have to cover the cardboard. Now again using the Fevi Quick Gel, I am going to attach this cardboard on this strainer. After attaching it and it's completely dry, you have to trim the extras like this. Isn't it looking like a basket now? You can use this to put anything like you can decorate it in your kitchen by putting some flowers inside it. Here again I am using Fevicryl molded clay to cover the edges of this uh, cardboard. So I have rolled the clay like this. Now carefully put the clay around this cardboard to cover the edges. And using the clay again I am writing kitchen on this sticks. It's almost done now, I am painting this trainer with white color. And I am painting the borders and the letters as well in white color only. And that's it, my beautiful kitchen wall decor is also ready. And I am going to hang that in this corner. And here is my beautiful DIY kitchen wall decor. How do you like this one? Let me know in the comment section. So these are the beautiful and easiest DIY ideas to organize and decorate your kitchen that I really wanted to share with you. I'm sorry it took so much time for me due to some uh, personal reasons. And I hope you all liked these DIYs and the full video today. And if you have really liked it, I request you to press the like button. And... Uh, Please let me know which is your favorite DIY in the comment section. I would love to hear from all of you. And in case you are new to my channel, do consider subscribing to my channel as I'll be coming up with budget friendly and realistic home decor, home makeover videos every week. So this is my kitchen corner decorated with all the DIYs in a very less budget. I'll be coming up with more kitchen related videos in my upcoming videos. So stay connected for that. And also please let me know in the comment section what you would like to see in my next upcoming videos so that I can plan and make a video on it. And also please let me know which is your favorite DIY in today's video and which is your favorite one and if you have any better suggestions do let me know. So that's all for today friends. Let's meet in the next video. Until then bye bye and take care.